As a painter, I'm interested in translating the language of mathematics. But I want to introduce this idea that you can see geometry in your own mind through the language of mathematics. When two people fall in love, we say they are converging. Well, we can describe that in an equation, but also in geometric form. What happens when they meet, when they get really, really, really close? Could it be a poetic notion that two people never fully meet, they just continue to get closer and closer? Ah, that's an asymptotic curve. That's a geometry that one can aspire to in their own personal relationships. And for me, painting is developing these geometric models to tell a story about what's going on in my life. And it's this extraordinary release and liberation for me. Uh, it frees me uh, to see outside of myself what's going on inside. For me, it's very compelling to draw analogies between relationships, whether they're geometric or interpersonal. We could talk about relationships that have frequency, two people converging or diverging. We could talk about meeting or tangency, dynamics, measures, sequences. We could talk about rhythms, timing, and tempo. We could talk about these within geometry or interpersonal relationships. So geometry is this incredible medium in which we can imbue the stories of interpersonal relationships into mathematics. One of the most important mathematicians for me and one of my heroes is Archimedes because he gave us this gift of infinitesimals which led us to calculus. The architecture of the Pantheon is based on Archimedes' sphere inside a cylinder. So all of my paintings have a sphere and an oculus at the top, just like the Pantheon that was based on the geometry of Archimedes. In this way, the light that descends from the oculus in my paintings is a metaphor for the incredible knowledge that Archimedes gave us and informs all of the math in my paintings. And two people go to hear the symphony, one person might have a background in music theory and the other person has never played a musical instrument in their life. Both have an extraordinary experience listening. They're very different. Both are valid. In the same way, people can experience my paintings if they know the mathematics, they can read through the equations and see the geometry in their own minds. If they don't know the math, they can experience how I have worked through the geometry and how I have drawn out and painted uh, the geometric forms for them to see. Both are valid and both can be an extraordinary experience. I feel like I can provide this bridge between the people who are used to seeing geometry in art and those who can see geometry in their minds and provide this opening through the, the fence where they can go into the open field and experience each other's realm. I don't see my paintings as just math or just art, it's both. It's the combination of both. I'm opening up the door into true conceptualization of geometry and art.